What's up, y'all? This is Kenny. And listen, you know what today is, man. Y'all saw the title. My third installment of What's in My Bag 2020. I really want to thank my sponsors this year, the good folks over there at AIR, the good folks over there at Ministry of Supply, and the good folks over there at Thursday Boots, man. They kept me laced a couple weeks back when I went to uh, LA for the Grammys. And uh, it was such a great time and they were such great products that I was able to use on that trip. And I wanna tell y'all the things that I chose for the things that are in my bag this year. Y'all already know what it is. This is what's in my travel camera every day. Let's go bag. Let's go. <laughs> What's up? We headed out to LA's Grammys 2020. I try my best to do one bag travel, but when you have to get fancy over and over every day, I did my best. Shout out to my sponsors for this video for today. They got me laced for this week, and I appreciate their, uh, you know, showing me love, how to get me right for the Grammys 2020. This is what's in my bag. Let's go. Straight out the bat, hopefully everybody watching this is having a good day or is trying to get their energy in a space where their day will be well. Shout out to everybody who's helped me get past 75,000 subscribers. That's for y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. And uh, yeah, there will be some giveaways at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Now, first up, Let's talk about this bag for 2020. Listen, the bag that I chose for this year comes by the good folks at Air, and they sent this bag out to me to review, and uh, it comes to no surprise that it's held me down so far. This is the Air Travel Pack 2 Small. I took this to LA with me. Um, I also did take a uh, carry-on bag, uh, a carry-on piece of luggage with me as well. I had a lot of outfits, but, this bag is a great weekender, getaway, um, possibly everyday bag that you can fit a ton of things in. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I got in this bag in one second. The good thing is, is that over the years, I've been using products that seemingly are lasting. So if you've watched a couple of these other videos in the last few years, you'll probably see quite a few repeats this year because hey, the things are just working still. And uh, I appreciate products that just get the job done and are still holding me down year after year. So yeah, it's just a testament to say that, you know, you, you, you do your research and you find the products that work for you and hopefully they will work over time. And, um, you know, the thing with Air, um, I have a few of their bags, like I've said before, the, the quality, the construction, the way it's built, the weather sealing, um, the organization in this bag has just allowed me to be able to do more. And I have their flight pack, which is a little bit smaller than this. I have a couple of their slings as well as the tote bag. And I love how everything just kind of has a very uh, utilitarian look, very cool, chill. Uh, it's not too flashy like I was trying to do last year with all the colors, um, but it just gets the job done. And um, yeah, what can I say? It held me down for a week in LA. So let's get into the bag and let me show you what I got up in this thing. I'm gonna start here with the back panel and you can tell that they have a nice long zipper all the way down to easily get out your laptop or iPad Pro is what I have. But I'm gonna take this thing out first. Y'all should know this by now. This is my X key air and I've had this for years. It's Bluetooth. It's works extremely well. And, um, you know, the battery life is seemingly held up over the years. And so, you know, when I'm on the go and I need a keyboard to allow me to get some ideas started, the X key air, hey, it's been here for years. Right alongside that is, of course, my trusty 2018 iPad Pro. Uh, this is the one terabyte version in the 12.9 size. And what can I say? I'm still using this every single day. Yes, that is my main computer of choice day to day. And then the third thing I have down here is my Narbox 2.0 SSD. Man, this thing has really, really been great for transferring my files back and forth and not just my video files. I've took a lot of, um, you know, we have photographers at different events. I was able to just take the photographer's card, drop it in here, 
back that up to my cards, give him back his SD, and uh, I have all the files here. Or maybe I'm doing some, uh, you know, some stuff in the studio, and I need to get the files off from another producer. You know, I use this to to get those files off, and it's been great. So this is the Narbox 2.0 SSD portable hard drive. I've done a review on this, and uh, it's great. It's rugged, and uh, it hasn't let me down yet. So. Boom, that's kind of what's in, let's see, anything else? That's what's in this laptop compartment. Um, as you can tell, it's very, it's very big, it's very spacious. You could probably fit a 15 inch laptop easily, maybe even a 17 inch. It's a nice size laptop compartment that's padded. Yeah, it's good, it's good. My water bottle of choice, shout out to my man Chase Reeves, is the Camelback Shoot. Uh, this is the 750 milliliter. Uh, I've taken this on all of my trips since I've got it. It's magnetic. It's easy. It's tight Nothing gets out of it and um, Yeah, you can carry a lot of water in here. So gotta stay hydrated boy That's what I love about having you know these air products and they have like their custom zip-up uh, water bottle holder um, It fits the water bottle perfectly and uh, I love it. So yeah, all right, let's go to the top Oh <laughs> To the top of my bag, there's a little compartment right here. Hold on, let me zip this up. There's a little compartment right here where I just put my stuff that is usually in my back pockets. My wallet of choice, this is the Bellroy card sleeve, I believe something. It's leather, it's built well. Uh, you can fit quite a few cards in there. And um, yeah, it's, it looks good, it feels good. Um, and it's, you know, it's pretty minimal. So I like the fact that uh, it's not a lot going on with the wallet, but it has just the amount of cards that I need. So I usually tuck that in there when I'm going through the airport. Of course, I have my AirPod Pros in the bag. You know, I, I really don't leave anywhere without these. They have started to slip out of my ears a little bit, and I don't know if that's a thing with a lot of people. Um, I don't know if I should be switching the ear tips out more often, try to figure out if there's better ear tips. Maybe I should go with a larger size. But these things still sound great and they work extremely well on flights. So I keep these with me wherever I go. And then on top of that, this is my Spuds microfiber cleaner that I clean everything with. And I've had this for years as well. So I like that you can fit quite a bit. You can probably fit your, uh, you know, your passport, your wallet, your phone, keys, all in this little slot right here. So... Yeah, I love that. I'm gonna go to the front of the bag. Front of bag here, I usually just keep some mints. I think I already took those out. Maybe some lotion, you know, can't be ashy out here, you feel me? But this spot right here, this is a great space for organization. This is a great place to put all your tech stuff. And let me show you how I have this all fitted out. First thing I have right here is these Audio-Technica ATH M50Xs. I've had these for at least five years now, four or five years. Still sound great. You know, usually the ear muffs will start to crackle a little bit, but um, they've, these ones in the, I don't think they're still gray or the whatever, uh, graphite, um, they've still holding me down. Love those headphones. And they only sound better over time. Let's be honest about that. The Audio Technicas are great for uh, burn in and getting that rich sound over time. Um, so you can see that you have two pockets here, you have a zipper pocket here, and you have a big sleeve here. In this big sleeve, I carry my iPad Mini 5, and uh, I do all of my TV show watching. Basically, this is the device that gets used probably a lot more than anything else when it comes to me consuming content because uh, it's just a perfect size. And when I put the AirPod Pros on, I have just in the big enough screen size, but also get the audio from my, uh, my AirPod Pros. And so it just works really, really well. And uh, yeah, I still take this everywhere I go. This is the iPad Mini 5. It's not going anywhere until they come out with that iPad Mini Pro. I don't think that's coming, but who knows? And then in here, I have two cameras that I take with me because the fact that I do music, the fact that I have a lot of meetings and other things and I'm out and about a lot, carrying a big camera for me has always been too cumbersome 
Uh, and usually when I have a big camera, I'm always worried about where I leave it or, you know, how do I, how do I, you know, put it in the right bag without being too bulky. So I usually take two cameras with me, uh, one good for pics and one good for vlogging or whatever. And so I have my Fuji. This is my Fuji X70. Now this is, you know, I don't know how many years old this is, but this thing still works and still takes great photos. It's fixed lens 2.0, I believe it's 18 millimeter lens. And I do a lot of just, just taking pics straight with this because it's small, it's compact, and it works. And uh, the other camera that I have here is the Sony RX100 Mark V. And the only reason I didn't upgrade to the Mark VI or VII is just because this still works well. And uh, it's great for vlogging. It, you know, it's just trusted, tried and true. I bought this so many times. I literally started my channel with one of these cameras. And so, um, yeah, this is kind of like tried and true camera for video, as well as my iPhone 11 Pro, which I use pretty much all the time, probably more than these cameras because it's just damn good with video and pics. So I've been able to really do exactly what I needed to do just with my iPhone. That's what's in these two flaps. I also have here my Samsung T5 just for backup cases. This is the 500 gigabyte, um, you know, SSD T5 hard drive that I back up my video files on and some of my other files. So I have that as well in here. Um, this is the cord to the headphones. And then I have a pouch, set this down here. Then I have this pouch from Bellroy. This is Bellroy's pencil pouch. And I just like to have that because it, it can allow me to carry just all my knickknacks, right? I have my Apple Pencil, a couple Apple dongles, uh, a USB um, headphone amp, a, US, uh, a headphone splitter, my USB uh, hub, cable dongles, right? Uh, all this will be linked down below. A couple extra batteries for my RX100. Y'all know about that battery life. Um, another little, you know, this is the SanDisk um, USB-C to USB-A flash drive. It's 128 gigs, and um, it works pretty good. Uh, it's kind of slow, but, you know, if I just need to get a few files from somebody else, I have that in there. Of course, I've got to, gotta, you know, ready for my swipes just in case somebody want to go ahead and buy something. And some more adapters. So keeping all of that in this good Bellroy pencil pouch just helps me be even more organized, you know? And so having that here, it's simple. I can just put that right back in the bag without having a whole bunch of cables all over the place. I love that. And then for my, you know, for my audio needs, I use Apogee's Groove, right? And I use Apogee's Jam. So... Why do I have both? Uh, well, when I'm in the studio and I'm not working with maybe a guitarist or a bassist and I don't need to plug up anybody to uh, create with me, this uh, Apogee Groove sounds incredible. And the fact that it works with the iPad Pro just makes it an even more portable device uh, for making tracks and getting ideas out. You plug this in even with your headphones or with your... Uh, you know, plugging it into an aux in the studio and you'll hear quite the difference. So I use those two, um, you know, um, peripherals when I'm on the go. And those are basically the two I need. And I can, you know, get most of the stuff done. If I need a mic, I have the Apogee Hype mic as well, but I don't usually carry that with me all the time. And then I have my big battery bank here. This is the Anchor 26,800 uh, milliamp hour portable battery bank. And man, this I've had this for a few years as well, and it still keeps all my stuff charged. But, you know, when I'm traveling, right, it's not always about uh, the things that I have, but making sure that I have the fuel that I need as well. Uh, and so I've been really focused on the fuel, really focusing on making sure I have the right type of snacks. And uh, these Chomps, yeah, these Chomps by Trader Joe's, really good um if you're into like you know meat sticks and stuff like that they're cheap they're about a dollar 60 a piece and uh they fill you up along with you know some trail mix and i you're like yo these really have that on deck yo i really keep this on deck and here's the deal when you're out and about and you're on the move 
and you're going from a studio session to an event or an event to you know another meeting and you just don't have the time to really get a solid meal, you gotta keep that fuel ready. That's why I keep the water with me and a couple of snacks. Sometimes I'll have some, you know, some fruit, uh, fruit snacks or some chocolates or something just to keep a little bit of sugar. But um, man, these things will hold you down more than you think. And a little bit of trail mix, a little bit of uh, meat stick or, you know, jerky and some water, that'll last you a few hours to keep you going without getting hangry, without getting to the point where your ideas aren't coming because, you know, you're lacking in nutrition. So that's what I keep in the front of the bag. And uh, I love the fact that uh, all of that can fit in here, no problem. So let me show you the main compartment of this bag. What I really like about this bag is the fact that it's not too big, right? Other bags, when you use for travel bags and stuff like that, they can get really big and you're not gonna wanna take them anywhere unless you're traveling. This bag, I can still take to the studio, I can still take the meetings without feeling like I'm carrying a briefcase full of clothes or like, you know, some type of carry-on luggage. So this is what I have in the bag. And uh, as you can see, if I was going on a trip and I had meetings and stuff like that, I'm still ready to go. Right here up front, I have Air's tote bag. What I love about this tote bag is how small it is, uh, and it can still fit all of my stuff. So whether it's, you know, my soaps, you know, my beard stuff, um, you know, a little tincture life, even these little things. Yeah, I don't know where I found these, but I'm going to put a link on them. They're called... Wizzy? Wizzy? I think they're called Wizzies. Hold up. Let me show you. Hold on. So you can get them a little pack, right? Let me show you what happens. You, you give it a little water. Yep. You know it's going to spill. Oh, well. And what it does is it becomes a wet nap, right? And, um, man, you never know when you're on the go. You just need a little wet wipe. You feel me? You need to wipe yourself off. I don't know what you got to do, but... um telling you to be able to have all of that packed into that little circle and you can easily wipe off whatever you need to wipe off. Hey, these things come in handy. And so I fit all of that in my tote bag, you know, as well as, you know, my shaving stuff, my shaving cream, uh, my comb, my deodorant. Like I said, shout out, to, shout out to native, you know what I'm saying? Listen, native deodorant, they hold you down. Works well, fits in the bag and I can take that wherever I go. So shout out to Air for making such a good tote bag that's you know compact and uh, ready to go. Now, the other thing I gotta tell you about is these boots. So I, sh I went and I was looking for boots that I could wear, not only on the plane, not only throughout the day, but e even with a suit. So I contacted the good folks over there at Thursday Boots. And my man Darnell, he just was like, yo, I like what you got going on. I'm going to send you a couple pairs. And so he sent me a few pairs of the Thursday boot. This is the Duke um, boot that they have in black. And um, man, I've already worn these a few times. Uh, I'll show pics of that coming up. But um, man, these boots are comfortable. You know, they have good soles so far. I've only had them for, you know, two, two and a half weeks. But yeah, you know, to be able to use these, rock these on the plane, rock these with a suit, rock these with jeans. Uh, these are great, comfortable boots that seem like they're going to last a while. Like I talked about before, building your brand is not always just about the products and the things that you make. It's still about the person that you are and how you represent yourself. And, uh, you know, I told myself, like I said last year, maybe I need to dress up a little bit more. You know, I'm getting older. I want to be respected in that way and I want to look a certain way. So, you know, the type of gear that I'm wearing, the type of stuff that I how I want to look uh, is going to be a representation of how I am and how I see myself as a brand. And so for Thursday boots to be able to provide me, uh, you know, with a couple pair of boots that... Um, are you know very versatile you can travel with them you can see that they fit in this bag um you know if i just had some you know some nikes on or whatever and i was just chilling and then i had to get dressed up i already had everything in my bag ready to go at any given notice so the other thing i have here Peak Design is another company that I truly admire for the things that they do. This is Peak Design's packing cube, and I have a few of these to be able to fit 
all of my clothes in when I'm packing. What I wanted more than anything and what I was looking for over the last year, which I've found by now, uh, is products that I could wear, and I've talked about this before, that don't wrinkle, that fit well, that get, you know, that it just work, uh, whether I'm dressing up, dressing down or whatever. And, uh, you know, so I reached out to the folks over there at Ministry of Supply and I said, listen, I love your polos. I've been rocking them forever. I have a few of your suits. Would you mind uh, sending me over one of your Velocity suits to try out for the Grammys? And uh, sure enough, they were like, sure, let's let's do this. So, so what you see here in this packing cube is full on suit. This is the Ministry of Supply Velocity suit uh, in black. And uh, I wore this... Um, during Grammy week. Came out very well alongside their, you know, Apollo dress shirt in white and the, uh, you know, the pants. Full on suit shirt combination, could throw a tie, socks and the like, all in this packing cube, in the bag, ready to go. So say I'm at the studio, I just, knocked out an eight hour session and somebody's like, yo, can you meet somebody, you know, of significance that I, you know, need to meet with? Uh, and I wasn't prepared. If I had everything just in this bag ready to go, I could throw on the suit. I could use the tote bag. I could wipe myself down and be fresh, ready to go with the Thursday boots, ready to get that meeting in such a comfortable manner that I, uh, you know, I'm representing myself the way that I want to. That's the type of versatility that I want for everything in my life. Just to be able to be ready, to be able to be on the go. Whatever's thrown at me, I can handle and tackle it to the best of my ability. You find products that are just easy to travel with, easy to be able to uh, wash and clean and throw it in the washer and you're good to go. That type of stuff really intrigues me. And I can tell you right now, from all the stuff that I have in my bag, um, all of it is based off of the fact of just being mobile, being on the go, being ready to go. It's funny, my YouTube channel has allowed me to become more mobile in all areas of my life. And I just really take that to consideration when I look for the products that would represent me. So that's basically it that's in my bags. You know, I'll tell you one thing, all of this fit in this bag and I could still take it without having to feel like I'm carrying a big ass briefcase, big ass suit bag, whatever I had, I can have all of this in one backpack. So I'm excited to tell you that this stuff just works. You know, I really appreciate my sponsors, Air, Ministry of Supply, Thursday Boots for just holding me down for, for Grammy week. And uh, for those of you looking for, um, you know, some of these products, all the links will be in the description below. So let's talk about the giveaways for uh, what I have for reaching 75,000 subscribers. First things first, I have quite a few codes for uh, Cubasis 3. Anybody out there been wanting to try Cubasis 3 over the last couple of weeks and just couldn't find it in their budget? Uh, you know, write down a comment down below why you would want that and why that might help you, uh, you know, change up your DAW. And uh, I got some codes with the Waves bundle and all of it and I'm willing to share those out. As well as, um, you know, if you guys wanna try out the Koala app, um, I have some free gift codes to that as well. I'm also gonna be giving away some really cool products from IK Multimedia. Um, I don't have those right now. Some of their new products are being sent to me, but I'm gonna be giving those out as well as uh, a pair, you know, a couple pairs of Rove sunglasses. I'm really gonna be giving away quite a bit of things because I truly appreciate all the support that I've been getting over the last few years. So make sure you leave a comment down below, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you follow me on Instagram, man. Listen, uh, I'll be selecting winners all throughout the next couple of weeks and just randomly giving away good gear that I believe in. And so, um, yeah, that's about it, man. I hope you guys got something from this. And if there's any one takeaway that I would say for this year's 2020 What's In My Bag, Find products that will last over time because when you do, you'll just be so much more appreciative of those, of those products and those brands. So I'll catch y'all in the next one, man. Talk to you soon. Hit them out!